uh, again, I'm just still learning how to do all this stuff, but awesome. So I'm going live. Fantastic. So uh, what I'm going to be doing is showing you guys how to do the ultimate Blitzball guide and how to set up the ultimate Blitzball team as if uh, from the very, very beginning, as if you're, you've never Blitzballed before and putting this all together and seeing how this is going. I've got my live chat going, so feel free to chime in with the chat if you want to. I would love to, uh, to hear from you and see how things are going, so feel free to chime in and I'll be watching and monitoring that as well. So it should be all good, it should be all good. Uh, so, okay, this guide is going to assume that you have gone through and have uh, got to the airship and all that kind of good stuff, and now you're just ready to start Blitzball for the first time. Now, what I've done is I have, um, I've played a few games, and I'm all good to go with that. Uh, so what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to go start the Blitzball League. And so what I need to do now is, so right now what I need to do is get the Jupiter Sigil. Now the easiest way to do this, now you could go through all the leagues and play 10 more games and all that kind of good stuff. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to reset my data and I'm going to go as if I'm starting from scratch. And I've saved the game just to make sure I didn't screw this up. So let's go ahead and reset the data. And okay, that did not give me the league that I want, the prize that I want. So what you do is you just reset data again. And you just basically keep resetting the data until you get the prize that you want. Nope. And I hope I can actually do this. I should be able to. There's what I want. The Mercury Sigil. That's what I want to do. So basically, I've, got, I've gone through and I've gotten all the slots for Waka. Uh, I've got, so you need to go through all four slots. And I, you, and I believe you need to, in order to get this done, you need to, uh, you want to set up the Mercury Sigil. Now, once this is in place, you, uh, this is the league that's it. The only way to reset the league is to reset the data and go again from there. Hello, Zalur. How are you? Good to see you. Thank you so much for watching and joining in. I appreciate that. So it's good to see you. Okay, now we know that the Mercury Sigil is going to happen. So now let me show you how we're going to get my best team for all this. Now, my team is going to be as follows. I'm going to show you where to get everybody. Now, the first person that I want to get is here on the ship. And it's Brother. He's one of the best Blitzball players in the game. So what I want to do is I want to sign him for 11 games because the league is 10 and uh, so I sign up for one more just in case something weird happens. And I have plenty of money, so I'll be just fine. Okay, now the rest of the players that I'm going to need... No, we will get to that later. Promise. Okay, now the next player that I want to get is in Makalania. So let's go to List, and now let's go to Lake Makalania. Go from there. Here we go. Yes, here we go indeed, Sid. Awesome. Uh, Zulu, if you could let me know how everything is sounding, uh, if everything is sounding okay. Uh, that's, nope, wrong one. Sorry. Uh, let me know if everything's sounding good and the stream is coming through and all that kind of good stuff. Okay, I went to the wrong spot. Makalani is not where I need to go. I need to go to the Thunder Plains. My bad. So yeah, let me know if the balance is good, if you can hear everything okay, all that kind of good stuff. So just let me know if you can hear the background noise and okay and all that kind of good stuff. So just, else, anybody that's watching, please let me know if, if, if you're thinking things are good, things are not so good. All this kind of good stuff. So I need to go actually to the Thunder Plains. There they are. Wait, no, 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 no. I think this. I think I screwed this up too. Why don't I go to the? No, it's mush. Wait, it's Mushroom Rock. That's where I need to go. I'm an idiot. I'm sorry. Sorry, everybody. It's Mushroom Rock is where I need to go because that's just past the mic. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, because uh, you can start doing this after the. the final show. Yeah, you can start doing this after the muckle after the. Adventures at Luca. Yeah, that's right. I need to go to the Mushroom Rock. I'm sorry. My bad, everybody. Okay, let's see. The stream's current bit rate is... Um, and I, I've got my... Nihan Hyro. That's what I need. Here we go. Okay, let's see. I'm not quite sure what's happening with that. Okay, sounds perfect. Awesome. Thanks, guys. That's great. Yeah, here's where I need to go. And I want to sign this guy, Rop. He's great, too. Uh, and I want to sign him for 11 games. Yep, he's good. another good, fantastic Blitzball player. Okay, I'll, yeah, I don't care about what you guys say. Okay, cool. Let's board the airship. Perfect. This is excellent. This is going exactly the way I wanted it to go. Fantastic. Okay, now what I need to do is to get the rest of my team, I need to go to Luca. And recruit the rest of my team from there. And then from there, I can uh, start the actual Blitzball game because the last three players that I want are in Luca. 
and we'll get going through this and then once I get it then we'll actually get started with the blitz ball game all right first person that I want to recruit here is wedge and there he is he's excellent so let's sign him for 11 games oh and I cannot have more than eight so all these people are useless and you don't need them so uh data let's get rid of him uh yeah the initial besaid Arox are actually pretty useless so you definitely don't want to use any of them so what you really want to do is you want to hope that they'll get picked up by other teams because that that just makes life a lot easier for everybody okay next person i need to pick up is over here you can buy it you can find a ton of blitzball players in luca and this, now keep in mind this setup that i'm going to give you and this is i believe zealots zealots right here zealots i'm gonna say zealots yeah there he is i want to sign him for 11 games and I cannot release. Uh, let's get a wedge I want to keep. Uh, Letty, I don't care about you. Let's get rid of you. Now I need to go get a goalie. And I'm actually a big fan of Blitzball. I, I love Blitzball. It's, 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 I don't know. Maybe I'm just one of those weird people that likes this mini game. So if you like this mini game, I want to hear about that. But I, I like Blitzball. I mean, I, I find myself playing random Blitzball games um, before I go to work in the morning just because I, I like Blitzball a lot. And Jamal, yes, let's sign this guy and 11 games as well. And I can release Keepa, the goalie, because he's, which makes sense, because Keepa, keeper, you know what I'm saying? So, okay, now I've got all the players that I want. Now I need to go to find a save site and actually start a Blitzball game and start a Blitzball league, rather. Now you can go back uh, to there, but I just, I found it this way is a little bit quicker to go up here and then up to the Mian High Road, because there's a, a save sphere right past that by the way some of you guys have probably played this game some of you never have this is really uh this guide is intended for a couple reasons one uh to test live streaming for a game that i'll be doing in the future and the other okay let's ball and the other is for um okay now i want to start my league and once you start a league uh it doesn't change the prizes so very good Okay, and who do I get? Oh, the Ronzo Fangs. I can beat them. As long as you don't get the Albad Sykes in game one, you should be able to win. So, okay. Uh, by the way, um, a lot of this stuff you can... Uh, and again, I know I'm jumping like 55 hours into the game, and that's fine. So if, if you don't want to watch any of this, that's fine. Just go... If, you, if you're ever not sure about how I got to where I am, just go back and look at some previous stats, uh, and you can figure out how we're going to do... And, and you can see how I got here. But I want Titus Wedge. Brother's going to be my midfielder. Then for defense, I want Salitz, Rop, and Jumal as my goalie. There we go. Very good. Now to set my techniques, uh, oh, they can't use it yet. Nobody can use techniques yet. Shoot. Jumal's got, he's got Drain Tackle 3. Do we know anybody else? Yeah. Because Drain Tackle 3, he can't really use. Venom Pass, he can though. Yeah, that's going to be a lot, yeah, that's going to be a lot better. And then Jumal, he can't learn to tech it either. Okay, and I don't think any of us, we can, we, some of us can learn Marks. Uh, marks, by the way, is not like a professional wrestling Mark. Uh, marks is somebody that you can learn a skill from um, by copying it from them. And it doesn't think we have a whole lot here. So let's just, and multiple people can target multiple people. Multiple people can target multiple opponents, and that's fine. Okay, and Jumal, I don't, Oh, you can possibly learn grip gloves. Let's try it. Okay, let's go. Uh, did I like Triple Triad in Final Fantasy VIII? I did, actually. I did like Triple Triad, except when all the rules got put into place. Eventually, at one point, the rules got so confusing, and I just got all screwed up, and it just kind of messed me up. So, okay, now we're in Blitzball here. All right, three-man breakthrough. He's going to try a Wither Pass. Now, I will tell you, the thing about the Ronzos initially is they have high defense, and they can be hard to take the ball from which is fine. But this initial team, if I do this pretty well, I should be able to uh, win this first game. Okay, now the first thing I need to do is set my formation. Uh, okay, no, I can't set my movement yet, okay. All right, and then Zelitz has a good attack power, so uh, you can go from there. Okay, let's see, Zelitz, can you please? Yeah, let's make sure we get him on defense. Please shoot. Oh, he's gonna pass. Uh, that's fine. Oh, he's gonna pass somebody open. Oh, don't worry. His shot, his shot is only four. Okay, that's fine. Now, these first few game, this first game or two, you might not win, and that's okay. You're really just trying to get some experience because your characters will eventually surpass everybody else. Just trust me. I, I've I've played 
I've played this a ton of times. I've played this game a ton of times, and I promise you, I'm a, okay, three attack. He only has a four, four shoot, perfect. There's no way that this goal is gonna go through, and I'll finally get the ball. Yeah, Jamal gets a hand on it. Oh, good, and now Titus has the ball, fantastic. I don't think he has, oh, uh, let's get, no. Um, shoot. Hope this works, because I right now he's on auto mode, and I need to go to, uh, okay, I think this is gonna work. I need to go to manual mode so I can actually uh, target the players myself. So I push the X button. My movement is manual A. And formation is normal. Now I can actually control the players uh, themselves. Okay, now I want to get kind of close. Now, fortunately, the Ronzos are kind of slow. And both the defense. Uh, ooh, let's see here. I don't think this is going to work, but we'll try. Because I think I'm gonna get, they're going to get the ball. Yeah, that's okay. Titus is actually not going to be the person that you... Uh, use until you can get him to level three and you can have him do either the jet shot or the spear shot then he can actually start being useful okay wedge has the ball and he has a pretty good initial sh shot okay this i might be able to score right now bypass the defenders and this should go in i wasn't paying attention i couldn't copy but yeah there's our first goal of the game Woohoo! yeah see and it's that easy but yeah, with Triple Triad, when the, once the rules got all screwed up, I hated it. And I just, I couldn't keep track of everything. And the game got too random for me. So I like Triple Triad up to a point. But eventually, it, it just annoys me. Uh, at some point, I think I'd like to do a Final Fantasy VIII Remaster LP. Let me know if there would be a, an interest in that um, from everybody. But by the way, we have five people currently watching. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. I hope you're enjoying some Blitzball on your Friday afternoon. It's Friday afternoon in the United States here. Okay, yeah, there's no way this is going to go through. They're playing some tight-knit defense. Yeah, Rop's going to grab the ball. Okay, cool. All right, now, Rop's pass. Okay, let's see. Yeah, so I need to pass to something that's a little more open. Um, and he should have a specialty pass. I think he's got a specialty pass. Yeah. So this is going to work out nicely. Um, well, let's get it to Wedge. It should get all the way over there. Go through, and now make the cut towards the net. And I'm going to shoot because I don't think his block is very high. I think this is going to work. It's fine. This should... Jamal is level 2. He can't copy. Okay, that's fine. Nice. And another goal. Fantastic. Yeah, so it's it's this simple. Friday, 1.46 p.m. Eastern where he's at. Cool. Yeah, it's, it's definitely 1.46 p.m. Eastern. It's 12.46 where I am on this Friday afternoon. Um, so I hope everyone's doing well. I hope everyone is recovering from the coronavirus uh, about as well as they could uh, during these trying times. I hope everyone's staying safe and washing your hands and all that good stuff. All right, he's going to throw a pass. He'll obviously catch it. All right, let's get some good defense going here. Yeah, Zealots is a good tackler. All right, and Zealots got the ball. Fantastic. Now, Zealots' pass isn't very high, so I need to quickly get him open and then have him get rid of the ball. Uh, and I'm going to give it to Brother, because Brother, actually, I want to get him going, too. Okay, I'm just going to take a... Uh, we're going to try it. I just want to take a shot, hopefully. Perfect. Excellent. I just want to take a shot. Now, I don't anticipate this going in. I just want to get Brother some experience. You get some experience by shooting on goal and stuff like that. Oh, Jamal learned a new tech. Fantastic. Hey, I got a goal! Sweet! I wasn't sure if I was going to... If that was going to work, but that did. Brother also gains experience really, really quickly. So this is going to help him a lot. Again, Titus, I need to get just a little bit of experience so I can get him learning the jet shot. Because that can make a huge difference. And eventually, once I play some weaker teams like the Killica Beasts, like, it's not out of the realm of possibility that I will win 14 or 15 nothing. Like, that, is, that has happened before. And Wedge and Brother and Titus just go nuts scoring goals. There you go. Pass. And Zealot is on defense, and he can dribble. That's fine. Yeah. So that does, he's just bypassed him, and that's fine. And this should end the half. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna go ahead and take a shot. Looks like. Great, take a shot, and then we'll end the half. Five minute halves. All right. By the way, with the other thing about Blitzball is I don't really understand how everybody is able to just float in the water like this. Like, that just doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Okay, let's see how our players did. 
Yeah, not bad. I needed Titus to get one experience so we could use the jack shot. Darn it. Okay. And you've all learned grip gloves. Cool. Okay, I need to get Titus to take a shot or something like that so we can learn the jack shot for the next game, but that's fine. Okay, very good. Now we just, uh, the, this, the, the positions, you can just tap the A button to get him into place here. Okay, none of the technique slots are where I need him to be yet. Okay, wedge, let's see. Sometimes their marks change at the half, and if they don't have a, a mark, then I usually just... I usually just say no mark, because there's no point in following them around. Mark mode means that you follow around somebody, but Anjumal, I don't think there's anything we can really learn. Yeah, so, okay, let's go. And hopefully we can... Yeah, I mean, an anti-gravity sphere... No, it's it's supposedly they're playing in water. Because uh, when, the, when you kick, uh, the ball loses friction along the water. So from what I understand, this is actually water, which is kind of weird, but... Okay, um... I'm gonna pass. I'm gonna get over to Titus so that he can take a shot, get some experience, and uh, learn jack shot. Uh, I should be able to survive that. And just shoot. And again, I don't expect this to go in. I just want to get some experience for Titus. Because all he needs is one, and then he can learn the jack shot. Yes, yeah, so I don't expect this to go in. By the way, all the goalies, by the way, looks like they're making this incredible save whenever they do it. But yeah, like, I'll really start getting my experience when I play the Killica Beasts. Really just one of the Killica Beasts, because they suck. But I can, like I said, I, it's conceivable I can beat them 14 nothing. But yeah, this is why Titus and Waka can uh, swim underwater uh, in this game, because them, and along with Riku, uh, can swim underwater. So that's why they can play this game. I, why? The shot is one. Why are you shooting? I mean, CSO, it's, again, it's fine. I mean, because I'm going to get a free save, which I appreciate, and get some experience points for Jamal. Okay, Rob's got the ball. Okay, let's see. Let's see if I can get somebody up. Let's see. Wait, yeah, they're following me, and Wedge is wide open. So Wedge is going to get a clear shot on the goal. Yeah, this is just kind of like hockey, you know, good defense. Now I just move right up towards the goal. Don't try not to get too close. Hopefully I didn't... Go from too far out. Perfect. And this should be a goal for Wedge. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Next question is breathable water. Video game logic strikes again. Yeah, yeah. I don't understand how they can do this. How they can actually breathe underwater and go underwater. Because, like, I mean, like, in this game, it's conceivable Titus and Waka and Riku have to spend entire sequences underwater. Like, they can spend minutes. And when you're fighting bosses and fiends underwater like the battles can take like 10 minutes long so i don't know how the hell they're able to stay alive underwater for that long it's just crazy okay and this game's actually going relatively quickly for a blitzball game most blitzball games take between 15 and 20 minutes they usually are about 17 18 minutes for a slower guide um but for a game where i'm gonna score like 14 goals a game could take 25 minutes because the timer stops a lot okay zealots has the ball oh no, no wrong way get out of there zealots Go! Okay, now I want to pass up to... Yeah, his pass isn't very high, so we can't pass it that far. So please hope this works. Thank you. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, no, I'm going to pass to Wedge. There we go. And just push to the goal. And this should be another goal for Wedge. So the, the Ronzos, while they have high HP, have very low speed. So if you have faster players, they can burn right through them and get to the goal. So if you're just smart about your defense, you should be just fine. There we go. Yeah, 5 nothing. And believe me, this isn't even nothing. Like, theoretically, I can win a game 14-15 uh, nothing. Like, trust me, I'm that good at this. So yeah, but they have high HP and high endurance. Which is good. If you want to use it, that's fine. Again, I'm not a huge fan of the of the Ronzos to use, but that's just me. Okay, let's see here. Man, he might get the ball. Yeah, no, because while the the, the no, even though the numbers are are set, um, there's a random amount added and subtracted. Okay, and 
Jamal, Jamal should catch this. Yeah, he should be fine. Gets a hand on it, another good save. Yeah, but if they get a hand on it, you know, you never know who's gonna catch it. All right, and I've got this game well in hand, so this should be a win for BCS Buster. And there you go. And there's the first victory, very good. Hooray! And that's how really you create your, your ultimate Blitzball team. I may play one more game just to show you the, the effects. See, Jamal's gonna, his levels are gonna raise here. There we go, look at that. Got a bunch of them got levels, so now we can actually be effective here. Yeah, and I see, and I want five nothing, so this is good. So I'm currently in the lead for Spear League and currently in the league for Scoring Leaders. That's excellent. Very good. And after every game, I like to um, I like to save, just in case. So, go ahead and save here, uh, and I'm going to. Yeah, I'll go ahead and erase over that file. That's fine. Okay, good. And I'm gonna do one more game just to show you guys how this works. Uh, so you can see my more advan taken advantage of characters. Okay, give me just a second here. Let's see here. All right, just a second. Sorry, I'm having to do something on my phone here real quick. I'll be right there. Hold on a minute, guys. I'm sorry. I know this is thrilling and riveting content for you. Okay, so let's get our second league game going here. Oh, uh, uh, who do I get? Oh, the Guado Glories. Okay, they're not too bad. I can beat them pretty handily. All right, let's get our same six people. Uh, Mark Anthony or Dennis. Hello. Uh, thank you so much uh, for watching my uh, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild uh, DLC LP. I hope you really enjoyed it. Shout out to my girl Wolfie for sponsoring the LP. I appreciate that very much. Uh, it was a lot of fun to put that together, uh, and it was terrific there. Okay. So now, with Titus, I want to have the Jet Shot, because uh, the Jet Shot is very important. For Wedge, uh, since he's going to be on offense, I want to give him the Wither Shot. Any chance you get to do Wither, I would I would take that, because it can lower their stats, which is very, very important. Uh, for Jamal, you want to start with... He starts with Super Goalie. So I want to do that, because um, it adds, adds a random amount to his, uh, to his catching stat, which you want, so that's good. Uh, thanks. Uh, well, actually, Mark, this is only the first. This is only the second live stream I've ever done. Do none of them have techniques? Ow! None of them are going to play with techniques. Well, this should be very interesting then. Yeah, this is only the second live stream I've ever done, uh, Mark. So uh, I'm just experimenting with this for a new LP I'm going to be doing uh, starting not next week but the week after. Uh, something I'm very, very, very excited about. And I'll actually be talking more about that next week. I'm going to do a live stream tomorrow. And then I'm going to do another live stream next week uh, explaining what my LP is going to be. So I'm very excited about it. Okay. Ooh, brother. Ooh, wow. That was not very good by my players. How did he bypass my defender like that? Okay, come on, Rob. Okay, well, this just got a little more interesting. Okay, whew, good job, Jamal. That could have been a disaster. All right, yeah, see, sometimes it takes, with this strategy, sometimes it takes a little while to get your players going, but once they do, they are, oh boy. One, it, it takes a little while to get your players going, but once they do, they are on fire. I just realized I should have uh, passed the Titus there. Hmm. Trust me, I'll get it going. I'll get it. All right, let's get a stop here. Thank you. Now I want to move up to the center because, again, his pass stat isn't very high. Let's get it over to... Uh, let's get it to Titus. So I can show you the jet shot. Okay, let's see, I want to get a little bit closer, and I want to try to get two defenders here. Uh, hmm. I don't think this is going to work. Now it might. Okay. So Jet Shot, what it does it is, is it removes two defenders. If I'd have got, yeah, so you just like that. If I got a little bit closer, I would have been able to remove them and had a better uh, shot there. Got it. Nice. Good shot, Titus. That'll work. 
Nice job. Yeah, so I want all three of my players, Titus, Brother, and Wedge, all scoring goals so that we have a better chance of winning the scoring title and getting an additional prize. And I don't care about that. I care more about finishing first in the league. Okay, yeah, I mean, this should, this pass should go through just fine. Because Titus is not a very good defender. And I always like keeping the BCS universe in suspense. Oh, that was stupid. He should, okay, that works out fine. Good job, Rop. Very good. Okay, let's see. And I'm probably gonna run. Yeah, that's fine. Pass. Um, let's see. Let's pass to Titus. He can't do a jack shot again, but he can get open. He's the most open right now. And that's what I care about right now. Please beat this defender. Dribble. No, he got it. Okay, that's fine. If you understand sports, it's much easier to play blitz ball, I think. There you go. Good job, Zilitz. Okay, now I want to go down out of the way. That's fine. Pass over to... Over to Titus, because again, he's open. And that's the only person I can get to... Okay, now what I want to do is I want to try to quickly get a pass over, hopefully to the ball. I want to try to quickly get a pass over to Wedge, and hopefully it stays. Yep, just enough. Move towards the goal. Break this guy, and shoot. A wither shot. Hopefully this will work. Yeah, remove the, de the defender by smashing the ball in their face. I don't know why anybody didn't think of that before, but that works. Awesome. Yeah, no, well, and, and again, the camera in this mini game is kind of weird, but trust me, this is not the worst mini game in this game. The worst mini game is, and you're going to see tomorrow when I live stream, is that freaking Chocobo Trainer to get Titus's ultimate weapon. Trust me, that is the worst mini game ever created in the history of mini games. Oh boy. Uh, hmm. Yeah, go ahead and pass it. Because I'll just end the half here. I knew one of them was grab the ball, but I don't care, because I just want to end the half and get out of the half. There we go. Yeah, trust me. That stupid Chocobo Racer is the worst mini game. I dare you to come up with a mini game. Anybody to come up with a mini game worse than that. I promise you, it is the worst freaking mini game ever created. All right, very good. Good job, team. All right, yeah, let's get our team going. That. Okay, uh, brother, yeah, he got... Ooh, with a shot two. No. Hmm. Yeah, because unfortunately the wither, t the wither shot two drains too much of his HP. Uh, yeah, let's do wither tackle. It's fine. Oh, Zelis. Very nice. Let's get him a wither tackle. Excellent. Oh, it's it's oh this game is far worse. The snowboard minigame has nothing on the on the chocobo minigame, trust me. It's many controllers have been busted by many players of this game because that stupid freaking chocobo minigame. Trust me. If you come check out the live stream tomorrow, you'll see what I mean. I'll probably do it for about 30 minutes and rage quit. Rage quit. Trust me. Because it's so hard. Okay. Wedge. And now I can get a wither tackle. By the way, if, if you use a uh, technique, you get additional experience. So this is where you're really going to start to see brothers. Uh, this is where you're really going to start to see brothers uh, HP go way up. Hmm. That's a little tightest. It's fine. Yeah, because I need to be somewhat close. Okay, let's, let's. And I'm going to do dribble. Because I need to not deal with anything right now. I'm not to get my way up towards the net. There we go. Perfect. That'll work. No break. 
shoot, and the jack shot. And this should go in. Especially since I'm right near the net. Now later on, if you boost Titus up, you can do the jack shot twice and a half, which helps. Yeah, if there was a death count, Zalur, trust me, the death count would be through the roof. But yeah, I'm going to get pissed off tomorrow. Just trust me when I'm doing this. Because it is the worst. <laughs> of course I say that and I'm building this in anticipation, but what's going to end up happening is I'm going to end up getting it on my first try. Uh, I just, you know, knowing my luck. Okay, let's get it with a tackle. Shot is half, which is fine. I'm kind of hoping he'd steal the ball, but that's fine. Go. You're running into trouble there, Gira. He's going to shoot most. Well, Jamal's at least going to get some experience because should get blocked. Yeah, it'll be about zero by the time he gets to the end. Yep. By the way, the super goalie, what that does is it adds a random amount to the CA for that particular shot. So super goalie is a good ability, which is why I like Jamal early on. Now, eventually, like way, way, way later on, I'm going to um, get a different goalie and get the goalie from the Albed Sykes. Ugh! Woo! It's close. All right, brother's got the ball. All right, very good. Okay, now Wedge is getting kind of close to the net. Hmm. Let's pass up to Wedge. And he's immediately going to take a shot. Now spam that Y button. Only one. Perfect. Shoot a wither shot. And hopefully this will go in. Oh, I ah, caught it, dang it. Um, oh, oh, I forgot about for Pete's sake or puppy love. Oh my gosh, I forgot about that. No, trust me, this is much worse. Like, I remember those mini games, and those were annoying, but you can at least get through those. Like this, I've spent eight or nine hours trying to do this, and I still haven't gotten it. So, like, trust me, this mini game is that bad. Okay, um... Hmm... Yeah, let's get it over to Titus. Because I need Titus to at least take a shot on the goal. Yeah. Um, passes on four. Yeah, because if it doesn't go, goes in, it doesn't matter. Let's go up to brother. If you throw a pass, both the person that throws it and the person that catches it gets some experience. Okay, now immediately go into shoot mode. Let her rip. Again, I don't anticipate to score, but I at least want to just put it on the net to get some experience. You never know. Yeah, I figured I figured that was going to get caught. But that's fine, but it also kills some time. And really, as long as I win every game, or at least win eight or nine of the games, I should win the sigil, which is really what I want. That's that. With a tackle, I should ball and now I want to try to get in one more pass just to get a little more experience throw it over the wedge there hmm, an LP for a Final Fantasy 6 the Final Fantasy 7 remake interesting idea hmm, I wonder what I have planned for next week hmm. who knows what I have planned for next week there is a certain game coming out next week worldwide release I'm just saying I'm just saying. And we won quite handily. And there you go. And that, folks, is how you do the beginner blitzball tutorial. Game 1 3 0. Got six points. I'm rocking and rolling. Wedge is winning with five games. And there you go. Okay. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial on blitzball on this live stream. I've enjoyed bringing it to you as I always do. Um, so, again, just I'll be back live streaming again tomorrow uh, for uh, some. I'll be, doing, I'll be live streaming tomorrow for some uh, Chocobo Racer, and that should be a lot of fun. But we'll definitely see you then. I hope you've enjoyed this live stream and this Blitzball tutorial. But until the next time I see you guys, this is BCS Buster signing off. Uh, all my information is in the video description below, but you can hopefully you can uh, like this video. Uh, like this video. Be sure to share it. Uh, don't forget to like me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter at BCS Buster LP. Check out the donations page, which you can find in the video description. And as always, take care, y'all. See you guys soon.